I saw this. This was kind of crazy. So basically, this guy had... He put out this, like, really viral video. It was, like, very popular for a while where he was basically talking about, like, J.K. Rowling. And I'm going to play the video, and apparently he just got fired. So these guys want to talk about J.K. Rowling? Is that, so what's going on with that? What do you want to know? Uh... She's, she's had a pretty controversial past. I just want to know, like, what are your thoughts on it? And, like, do you still like her work despite her uh, bigoted opinions? Mm. So let's get specific, though. Let's define bigoted opinions. What opinions are bigoted? We're going to treat this as a thought experiment. I'm not going to say yeah. what's right or wrong or what. Isn't it viral because Elon Musk tweeted about it? Yeah. Well, well, I don't know if that was yeah. the reason, so but a lot of people are talking about it. You're starting with the conclusion that given her bigoted opinions. Yeah. So first, her, uh, let's start with. Does she have yeah. bigoted opinions? So when you when you say bigoted opinions, she has had a history of being extremely transphobic. I've heard. Hey, you've heard. So what? Can you give me an example? Uh, if you look at her Twitter, I think uh, you can see a few things. Um, if you want, I could try and find. Yeah, see something. if you can find. See if you can find one. So. Okay. One of these tweets that she came yep. up with in 2019, she said. Dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who will have you um, live your best mm -hmm. life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for starting that, for stating that sex is real. So you find that bigoted? What do you find about it was in there? It was deemed transphobic. I, like, I myself... Do you find that transphobic yourself? Uh, I don't really have an opinion on it, but I'm... And you can see it's just immediately falling apart. Yeah. I'm just going with what a lot of other people have said. So let's of... pause it. Let's mm -hmm. not go with what other people are saying. Let's try and learn how yeah. to critically think. So let's analyze the tweet ourselves. Yeah, this so guy got fired, thing. by the way. Do you see anything problematic? Disregarding other people's mm -hmm. opinions. Um... She did try and pin some things on a, spe a specific group of per of people. I where does she Where does she do that? Do that? Can you read that? But force women out of their jobs for stating that sex is real. So when I hear that, I'm interpreting that as meaning, if a woman says that you know, saying that there is a difference between men and female, and then being attacked as transphobic, I think that's what she's saying by attacking yeah. someone for stating that sex is real that is exactly what she's saying is that I, transphobic to you so to me no stating that sex is real is not transphobic it's just a fact of life it exists so is there anything you disagree with in that tweet uh in that tweet i can't really see anything that i myself disagree with but uh -huh. I can see why some people would think, oh, this is offensive. We can't have that here or something. Because Sure. Uh, there's an apology tweet. Um, she, let's read that. What did she say there? I haven't read that. I respect every trans person's right to live any way that feels authentic and comfortable to them. I'd march with you if you were discriminated against. You can't with zero receipts. No, it, it's just this is the way a lot of people think. And the problem is that this type of conversation is like super productive and very useful because you're trying to actually think about rather than like what other people are saying or like what it looks like or whatever. Uh, it's you're actually thinking about it on a personal level, because I think what ends up happening with a lot of people is they let somebody else think for them. On the basis of being trans at the same time, my life has been shaped by being female. I do not believe it is hateful to say so. Um, you see anything problematic there? She's apologizing, so no, not really. Um, if I if I could read it again, it sounds like a, the same, a very similar statement as what she was just saying. She's basically saying like, I have nothing to me. This is what I interpret as I have nothing against someone being trans exactly. in your life, but you just don't get to impose on yeah. my. You can live how you want. I can live how I want. Yeah. And let's all, you know. Exactly. So I guess now, so now that we're looking at it like, oh, mm -hmm. there's not much difference between me or her. Do you, how, why do you, do you think it's fair that there's a, that she's being 
attacked by a large group of people and people are calling her, like you said at the beginning of this conversation, you said, given the fact that J.K. Rowling is transphobic, how do you feel about Harry Potter? Now, yeah. retroactively looking at that statement, do you think that that was the best way to phrase? No, I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> it's okay though, but this is why we do this, to learn, to yeah. learn how to think. There's know? been like a, so in my class... See, oh, sorry about that. Um, I hit the wrong button. Uh, so, let me go back. Yeah, so that that's the way it's supposed to be. Like that that see th this is like these are the conversations that the internet doesn't want you to see because everybody assumes that like getting in a in a debate is like basically like MMA. Horn of Abby Wesson. Yeah, yeah, exactly, right? And so you think something out critically and there's no insults, there's nothing like that. You're just talking about it honestly. And uh, then you get to a place that makes sense. It's a civil class, conversation. Yes. yes. Like in our class, um, there's been mm -hmm. quite a few people in there who have been saying like, oh, she's transphobic, she's transphobic. I've not, like until today, I haven't really thought about it because I just believe like- This oh, is the way everybody is. Not everybody, but a lot of people are. Is that once enough people say something, it becomes true in their mind. It's like, well, everybody here couldn't all be wrong. Well, this is just what people think. This is just the way it is. They, like, there's five people saying it. It, it must be correct. Yeah. 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 Well, that's interesting. That's great. It Somebody says the video is fake. What makes you think the video is fake? It's just a feeling? It's just, just a retard. And so, uh, anyway... He got fired. This, this came out, uh, what is it, uh, May? I guess it came out four days ago. And the original video, by the way, was three months ago. Yesterday I was f fired from my full-time teaching position. Yep. Not going to... I. It happened so quick. It happened in like five minutes. There was really no conversation so they clearly knew what they wanted to do so it's not so like yep. I think the and I really genuinely I I'm not because there's so little clarity on all of this I'm really trying not to I I'm not interested in divulging any thing I have there's no utility in that I never have <laughs> I never will um I think I have a right to articulate that I just lost my job and my basic observations, my life experience, there's no NDA. So when you say we appreciate you not divulging, I, I don't know if that means that you're threatening my severance package. I really hope not. I don't. He's got a berserk book. I don't even know what the severance package is. I'm still waiting, but I'm Anyways, sure it's going to be a really good it one. It was a bummer to lose my computer like that, too. This could have been done. Yeah. I understand if you disagree with me voicing opinions on YouTube or feeling like that's... It's easier just to get rid of that. I understand. Mm -hmm. To get rid of a teacher like that. And I, I accept that. Um Sometimes how you do it, though, is important. And I think this could have been done without just taking my computer and losing a book that I've been writing for two years. Multiple things I've been writing for two years. All the data for, from two years. My digital life. Just... Jesus. I have my crypto accounts open. I have my, my access to... Somebody says, uh, disagree with teachers teaching students how to think as opposed to what to think. Yeah, that's the problem. That's it. Brian, back it up. No, he should have backed it up. It was dumb not to, but like it still sucks. A plethora of yeah. my information at your fingertips. I really definitely hope that sucks. Yeah. You just do the right thing. Cause honestly, mm -hmm. I just want to be, I, I hope I never see you again. And I just want to live my life. I really am not interested in you guys. Good luck to you. I have devoted four years of my life to this school mm -hmm. and yesterday it was like being a character in a video game and just being deleted and thrusted. It's like you were never there. It was remarkable by people that love to pretend that you're your teammates and uh, 
it's so there's somebody in chat who's been extremely vocal and very outspoken about it being he participated in bad faith debate you're you're spamming this a lot so what's your what what's your point no, it, it'll the, the, this this will be good, I'm sure. If you look at his background, he's it's leaning right wing. Contrapoints is a great takedown of Rowling's debate. People think the student is the epitome of debate on the issue, and everyone jumps on the kid as if this is what serious people think. I didn't know that's what everybody did. I wasn't I wasn't aware of that. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I think that what a lot of people don't like, and this is the main thing that I this is the main thing that I get out of the video, is that. One thing that I don't like is that people will kind of just take the word of somebody else and not think for themselves to come up with their own opinions. And I think that being able to call people out on that and recognize that is happening is a lot more important than what the individual issue is itself, because a lot of times people outsource their thinking to another person. So it's not really about it being right wing or left wing. It's about the perspectives and opinions that people have not really being their own. And those opinions are actually just an outcome of something that they heard or a group think that they are a part of. Anyway, let's finish the video. This is just my perspective on things, but. Mm -hmm. And so the, the reason was <laughs> the reason I was we don't trust you to not divulge. Yeah. Information on online or upload online well i've never divulged anything i was i've <laughs> dave rubin dr drew hours of podcasts mm -hmm. and not once did i ever cross any of the parameters that you laid out that your lawyers laid out and i yeah. i even praised you for and thanked you for making that so clear objectively recognizing what the yeah. rules were there was no rules broken you even said congratulations the only time I've seen you in person this past year was maybe a week after that. Oh my goodness, it's our celebrity. What's on the docket? What up, any upcoming events, interviews? Oh, right, because it's a YouTube channel. That was a doing quote, well. and you know it. Yeah. Yesterday, it was like a different person. So, and I understand that had Elon Musk not tweeted that video, <laughs> I probably, this would have happened probably with the last four months ago when this initially happened. So all the, the interpretation that I mm -hmm. thought was objective seems to be malleable and subjective. And it seems to just be a matter of how something is received, depending which way the wind's blowing. If, it, if it's, it's, I think it's an instance of the fact that people didn't like what he said. Uh, I, I feel like that's the reason why it happened. Like, if he had come to the opposite conclusion and the person was saying the opposite, then he wouldn't have been fired. That's what I think. Blows one way, then <laughs> yeah, it's bad if it blows this way and it's in your favor, mm -hmm. or there's eyeballs. If there's enough attention on it, then you'll just wait until that blows over. And I kind of, logically, I, I expect that that'll be honest, but you're never quite prepared for it when... You devote four years to something and the floor is pulled out and there's that sense of falling. Yep. Thank you all for your support. I don't regret trying. It's It can be challenging when you have a job that you love and all the dynamics that come with that and a clique of people that aren't happy with you going way back and then things complicated and snowball and then they rise in power and it's just you're trying to navigate all that and at the same time something comes along and you know that if you don't try and make the most of it and just do your best with with both that you'll regret it so you try and walk that line and and, and juggle both and it's hard when you try when you do it alone and you don't have I can't think of a single time in the last four months that a single colleague leadership. Somebody says in chat, um, they said, you have to remember he also represents the school. So if they're getting blowback for his comments or the video, they have to act as well. I don't agree with that. I don't think that they have to act at all. I think that if you, if you want to represent like, you know, thinking and education, a lot of times that means that certain people might come to agreements that are, sorry, a conclusion that you disagree with. And, like, I think that this, again, 
th th like your argument would make more sense if he was like advocating for like a holocaust or something crazy but like that's really not what happened here uh this isn't like an extreme super fringe example this is just that two people having a conversation there's nothing like that that uh that he said that was like that problematic it's not even remotely close any of the principals mm -hmm. any of these people have ever how's the youtube channel channel going how are you doing yeah is there any clarity we can offer you just reference that's a dumb take, dude. Working at a school, you change your tune in a second because teachers get fired for all kinds of statement. You have to be basically perfect. Well, what if I disagree with that? Yeah, I, d I disagree with that categorically. I think it's a bad thing. Yeah, so... That's not reality? Well, yeah, but like, just because it's not reality doesn't mean that it's not bad. Remember whenever Blue Squadron, who was also a teacher, got fired for the same thing and I said that was stupid too? I've been pretty consistent about this. I think it's a huge problem another five minute meeting four months ago in a one sentence email mm -hmm. from four months ago when I was in the middle of this storm trying yeah. to navigate all this. It can be challenging navigating all this on your own. And <laughs> best damn believe I've been doing my best. So anything that any perceived wrong that you may have, it was not intentional. I have done my best and it's a shame that but this was coming for a while, and I know it. So we'll see where it goes from here. Thank you all. Thank you so much, too. Thank goodness for Weequil that I... Moth. It's just this and Weequil now to try and make the most of those. So I'm going all in. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your support. <laughs> Sorry, this has been just a bit ranty. I said I was offered additional payment to sign a document preventing me from ever speaking about what happened. I declined. Yeah, good. Holy shit. Yeah, I saw this. This is outrageous, man. Absolutely fucking crazy that this guy got fired for that. Like, yeah, hopefully he's able to sue them for something. I bet he probably won't be, to be fair. There's the video right there. And uh, decline base. Yeah, exactly. NDA, basically. Yeah, 100%. Things can backfire. It's stupid, but you always should try and see it coming. Well, it's not about whether it happens or not, right? I mean, like, I think that obviously bad things can happen. He expressed zero opinions on Transbay. His point was to hate on Rowling without really knowing her opinions. His conversation with the student can be put as, if you want to hate on her for her opinions, at least go read her opinions. That shouldn't be controversial. I think that, again, this is my opinion on this, is that the people that really, really try to push this stuff, if you go against them at all, they will instantly try to ruin your life. They will 100% try to do it. And I think that's exactly what happened here. Uh, I, I think basically he went against, like, if the conclusion of that conversation was the opposite, I don't think he would have lost his job. And I find that to be a huge problem. That's a very, very big problem. You don't think, you know? Yeah, I feel like it's a guarantee. And so I wanted to watch this and, uh, and talk about it for a couple of minutes because I, I just... Uh, I got it recommended to me and I was like, yeah, this is, I, I remember like, I remember seeing the original video. I didn't really talk about it at all, but I remember seeing it and it was just crazy. What do you think about people who always start sentences with a straw man? I don't know. Uh, it, you know, it depends on what it is. Feel free to see, have this opinion of them as sad, especially as a teacher, it needs to be challenged. Yeah. You don't challenge the status quo with people like that. Hmm. I don't trust a kid. Also, don't instantly cave to the counter opinion. Fair enough, but people uh, latch on to the concept of winning or escaping from the situation. No doubt. Of course, they got bullied into doing it a thousand times worse. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what happened. Uh, what's the solution? Should people protest the school or should we go further and push for regulations made to protect people from being fired for political ideology? I think that I think that at schools, I feel like uh, high school teachers especially, and like really, this is like any public school teacher. I think that public school teachers are like mistreated and i think that they should be paid a lot more money because like they're held to a standard that's higher than almost any other person that has any degree of like civil servant role and at the same time they're being paid really bad wages and i think they get disrespected a lot in schools as well so it's like you have all of these restrictions on your behavior like, for example, like if you've had a DUI here in Texas, I don't know if this is still true, but it used to be true. You literally cannot be a school teacher no matter what. Like, that's it. You just can't do it. And some people can say, yeah, based like true. But like, I think obviously that's fine. You want to say that. But 
if you're locking a career behind like a $40,000, $50,000 career behind that, then it's a huge problem. Like if being a teacher was like $150,000, then I think it would make a lot of sense, right? And it would be fine. But that's what I think is disproportionate is like the amount of uh, basically like what teachers get out of it is like nothing. And I think the problem with that and the reason why it happens is because or the reason why it's a problem is because if you're not paying teachers any money, guess what kind of people you have as teachers? Well, you're going to have morons. So you're going to have like and and this is how it was for me in high school. And you guys can correct me. You know, tell me if you had the same experience. I had three kinds of teachers in high school. I had amazing, super invested, great teachers that loved what they did, and they were going to be a teacher for the rest of their life. And then I had teachers who clocked in and clocked out and didn't give a fuck and were probably dumber than the dumbest student in the class. And then I had teachers that were in between two professional jobs that were just doing this in between. Right. That's not the way it should be. That's so damn right. Yeah, exactly. That's not the way it should be. And that's the issue. That second was most of my teachers. Exactly. Right. And so the only people that you get for teachers are the ones that are either super inspired to be teachers or the ones who couldn't get any other job because they were dis they were dumb. Private schools are way different. Yeah, but I don't care about private school. It's not public school. It's not up to me. It's not my decision. Uh, AI teachers win. Oh, probably probably last year, to be honest with you. Good take, but that's every career. No, it's not. Uh, so like, for example, there's a lot of careers where the amount of responsibility that a person has and the amount of control that the company or their employer has over their personal life is much more removed. No, there are a lot of companies that are like that. And I find that to also be really bad. Like uh, here, here's a great example, right? And this is like kind of an abstract example. It's kind of a thought experiment, but think about it like this. Like, let's say you worked at a company and then the company hired 10 people to constantly monitor your behavior 24 seven, like 10 private investigators to like, look at what you're typing, like watch where you're going, see what you're saying in public places, take pictures of you, et cetera. This would obviously like freak you out. And you would think this is a huge invasion of your privacy. But the truth is that in effect, that's the world that we live in right now because of how ubiquitous cameras are because of the internet, et cetera. So you're effectively having a lot more than 10 private investigators on your life all of the time. So at a certain point for that, you need to have protections for people's individual rights to express themselves, even in cases that it's sometimes not very popular. So yeah, actually, I think that it is a huge problem. And I think that really, if teachers were paid $120,000 a year, let's say, I'm just throwing out a number there. If teachers were paid that much money, I don't think we'd really be having a uh, I don't think we'd be having this conversation. It's insane how much data uh, put out on themselves through social media. Yeah, accountability is like kryptonite. Well, accountability being like kryptonite isn't really true, though, right? So, for, and this is like kind of a problem that people like this have is that uh, parenting problem, not everything should be posted as content. One gotten fired if you didn't post it. So here's the problem is that you talk about accountability being being a good thing, but people don't really believe this because if people took this thing and they were holding you accountable for things that you said on, like, for example, in my chat. Uh, if I scroll up, I'm sure I can find something that's disagreeable that you've put in your chat. Uh, let's see if I can find here. Tality, let's see. Uh, Selenia. This is it. Having access to AI. Like, you've talked about a lot of, like, political stuff, it seems. Skipped. Yeah, people can't protest peacefully anymore. Yeah, and so, like, you're making comments about this. How would you feel if your job fired you because of these comments? That wouldn't happen. Because I know where I post and, and I don't include that stuff. You didn't answer my question. And the reason why you didn't answer my question is that you know that you're going to have a double standard. You know that you're going to have a double standard. And you're not willing to stand by that double standard. Because you, it, this, again, and this is the problem that happens, right, is that People love making these arguments whenever it's not about themselves. And this is another it's another example of like what I was talking about, like Internet ethics, where like people think this thing, but like you don't really think this. You just act like you think this because it uh, it sounds good. But if this happened to you, then it's different. Lack of empathy. Well, it's more that they agree with the outcome and they assume that it won't happen to themselves. That's the real reason why it happens. Internet ethics are a thing. Yeah, I think a lot of people on the internet, I mean, of course, my actions also have accountability to your chat. 
So let me get this straight. You think that it would be unfair and bullshit if you got fired for your comments that you've made in my chat? No, I don't think it would be unfair. Okay. So then that's consistent. That's fine. Um, again, I think that you would think differently if it actually happened to you. For sure. But uh, yeah, I, I okay, that's fine. You're fired. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Uh, be careful what you wish for. And I think what what's going to happen is that I feel like one thing that you can always expect is going to happen is that you'll always be held accountable for something that you did that wasn't bad or you didn't think is bad, and then somebody else disagrees with you. Uh, I don't want to give that amount of power to somebody, and I think it's incredibly dangerous to do that. And so he takes accountability? No, he hasn't done anything wrong, really. He's not saying anything that's problematic here. I think that oh, with a lot of people, we're going to start with sooners, they know how it goes. If I told a guest anything about Trump and they told my manager or posted online, I could lose my job. Yeah. Um, that's definitely, uh, that, that's definitely true, right? I mean, you could do that. Sure. I mean, like, I don't think that's necessarily the same thing as this because like you're having a conversation about like critical thinking at a school. So it's like a different thing rather than like you're working in service industry, you're like a waiter and you bring up Donald Trump. Like, yeah, of course that's, that's out of pocket. Let's be clear. The guy got fired because he questioned the student's logic and made the student think critically, which threatened the logic of the greater culture. Agents of the greater culture felt threatened and decided to make an example out of him. The dude's been fired for literally doing his job. I agree with you. I think that if the outcome of this was the opposite, he wouldn't have been fired. Yeah, 100%.